Hey everyone, welcome to my tutorial here on using starting video for Disco Diffusion. And I also have some quick steps up there that you can pause and look at, and that'll just get you up and running right there. There's not really a whole lot to this, especially if you're familiar already with using starting images. This will be kind of similar. You're going to use Disco Diffusion prompts to modify the video, not to create it. And also you'll need to be kind of familiar with the with making animations in Disco Diffusion. So if you're not familiar with that, go ahead and watch my other tutorial on that, or there's lots of other really great tutorials on here about this. So the first thing I'm doing is pretty standard here. I'm just selecting my models. Now I have run into a couple of issues with this. It's normally related just to the video size and the frames per second. So I would recommend kind of starting off with kind of low memory. I'm just using two models for this. So I've selected the first two, the 32 and the 14. And I'm just going to kind of show you the settings here I did. And then I'll do a demo of it and show you what we got here for the results. Okay, so I just ignore the custom model settings. I never run that. And then I go down here and I've got my resolution size at 640 by 512. I've got 300 steps. And everything else I pretty much kept to default, so I, I'm not really changing a whole lot here. And then in animation mode, we want to pick video input, and we want to take our file that we've already copied over there and copy it over there to the video input settings. Okay, so the other feature here that's below that, that one where it says extract end frame, I have it on two, so what that's going to do is just select every other frame of my video to render a frame out of. So this will turn a 24 frame per second video into a 12 frame per second video. And so you'll render half the frame, so you can do that to speed up your render time. You can also select one, and that will keep your frames per second the same as the original source video. You can select higher, it'll be choppier, you know, it'll render less frames. So that that's why I selected two there, that's what that feature does. Okay, now the other thing I've done to also speed up my render time is turn my cut batches down to one. If you have it higher than that, that can add a lot of render time as well. Okay, and with the video optical flow settings, I haven't, I'm not adjusting anything. I'm just uh, selecting that and letting it run. And also, we don't need to mess with the movement settings at all. So in a way, this is a lot easier than doing a 3D animation. So our coherency settings here, we can turn that frame skip step up. That'll make it more like the video. We can turn it down and that'll make it more like our prompt. So this is really about the only thing we really do when we're doing this with warp. We just want to manage those coherency settings there. And you know, you can experiment that around. It depends on what you're going for with the video. So you can experiment with that higher or lower. Okay, and then we just want to run these three sections. These are new sections. You want to install this wrap program here. Just run that run this, and then run the last one. This will take a couple minutes. It'll just turn your video into frames. And that's what it uses to generate the video, the animation along with your prompt. And that's really about all there is to it. So just go ahead and run those three and then start the run. And I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm using the same video I did for my other video with the EB Synth tutorial. So just to kind of, you know, keep it kind of the same. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and I'll come back when it's done and show you the video. Okay, and here is the final result. I've got the source video down in the right corner. So this is a great feature and it's not real hard to use, but it can take a while to render. So I actually have some really long renders that I'm gonna be upgrading to 4K and stuff too, and some really cool stuff, some cool videos I'm going to be posting real soon here. So thank you for watching. If you have any issues, just tell me in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. 